Hello, everyone, and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today. I hope that you'll share this out on your social media link and make sure that others are able to hear the events that are leading to the imminent return of Jesus Christ. I've been sharing with you over the past several weeks the rapture-ready indicators, signs, that are letting us know that Jesus Christ's coming is near. Now, of course, no one can know the day when that is going to occur, the very moment, but we can see the seasons and the signs according to the scripture. And one of them that is certainly on the forefront is the civil unrest and lawlessness that is taking place in our land all around our country. I'll share with you quickly that in uh, the world, we're watching the ramping up of lawlessness on a scale that has never been seen before. As a matter of fact, lawlessness, according to this article, is spreading in our cities, uh, almost like wildfire, as it is indicated. Uh, in many cities like Philadelphia, Minneapolis, Los Angeles, they have actually placed what could be a moratorium on police officers making stops for so-called minor infractions. In 2023, in New York City, the police identified over 327 people who are responsible, who were responsible for one third of all the shoplifting arrests that took place. Not to mention the fact that there are those that are ravaging businesses that are causing them to go out of business and businesses that literally have fired their employees for trying to defend the business by uh, trying to call the police or capture the individual who may be shoplifting. This article goes on to say that there is some nine, $690 million, I want you to hear that, $690 million in 2022 that was lost because people would not pay their fare when they got on to the public transportation in New York City. This article speaks very clearly of what's happening in San Francisco, and it is soon to cease uh, to be one of those cities that people wanted to be able to go to. San Francisco is in a free fall, a collapse, where more store closures, lawlessness, drugs, and homelessness is literally taking over. These are businesses in recent months that have literally shut down and moved out uh, from the city of San Francisco. T-Mobile's flagship store closed. Uh, Walgreens all across San Francisco closed. Amazon Go stores, brand new. Uh, Whole Foods closed, uh, Nordstrom's and uh, Saks Fifth Avenue closed in San Francisco because they can no longer take the crime, the robbery, and all that is taking place. And overseas, you're watching in France as they have been uh, under the throes of civil unrest and lawlessness there, and Mr. Macron is calling for people to return, listen to this, to return to authority starting with the families after the riots. He goes into this particular article and says that social media has played a big part in what has been the burning of schools, town halls, gymnasiums, libraries, and just a series of violence and looting all across France. This has been happening, and there's been absolutely no control that has been able to come from the government. Why is that? Because we are watching the ramping up of the spirit of lawlessness and it is uh, preceding the man of lawlessness. One of the titles of the Antichrist is that he would be uh, the man of sin or the man of lawlessness. And as a result of that, the scripture lets us know very clearly that there will be this pervading spirit in the last days of the Antichrist of lawlessness that would take over the entirety of the world. When the Antichrist steps on the scene after Jesus raptures the church off of this people planet, lawlessness is going to be unprecedented. What you're seeing right now in the streets of America and around the world is nothing compared to the lawlessness that's going to occur under the administration of the Antichrist. He will be completely energized and controlled by the devil according to the scripture. And let me just share this passage of scripture before we leave you today. This lawlessness as a sign of end times is happening right now among us, and the Bible says, for the secret power of lawlessness, and this is in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7, he says this secret power of lawlessness is already at work, but the one who now holds back will continue to do so until he's taken out of the way. 
And then the lawless one, that's the Antichrist, will be revealed whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the splendor of his coming. The coming of the lawless one, according to verse nine, uh, will be in accordance with the work of Satan and display all kinds of counterfeit miracles, signs, and wonders. Why are we seeing this lawlessness? We see this as a part of uh, the border on the southern border of America that's wide open. There is no keeping of the laws whatsoever there, and the failure of leadership to enact or be able to enforce those laws seems um, intent on breaking the law. Well, I can tell you there is one restraining factor. The power of the Holy Spirit inside of the church today is what is restraining all out evil from coming upon this world. When the church is taken off of the scene in the rapture of, of the church by Jesus Christ, you can rest assured there'll be an implosion in society as people will grab and reach and loot and destroy and burn like never before. Why am I saying this to you? Because you're watching it happening in the streets of America and the world every day. Why do I need to know this? Because the signs of the times are all around us, and this is one more rapture-ready indicator. I want to encourage you to be ready for the next great event on the calendar of God, and that is the return of Jesus Christ. I don't want you to miss it. Be ready. Jesus is coming and coming very soon. Before I leave you today, I wanna to make sure that you're registered for the upcoming Prophecy Files conference that's happening right here at Pace Assembly. There's more information on the website at Pace Assembly, and you'll not wanna miss this Saturday and Sunday conference that will happen right here on the campus. All day Saturday, lunch is included for a $10 registration, and then on Sunday, I'll be preaching in that Sunday morning service, Bible prophecy message that you won't wanna miss. And Sunday night, our keynote speaker, Pastor John Hagee, right here at Pace Assembly. Don't miss it. It's gonna be an incredible conference that you need to be in attendance for. And we'll look forward to seeing you then. Till the next time, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon. Thank you.